It's a wonderful science day. How are you kids? Are you excited to learn something new? That's great. Let's begin. Can you identify whether the following mixture is a solution or not? Alloy. Yes, it's a solution. Halo halo. It's not a solution. Great job. How about chapsui? Not a solution. Correct. Vinegar. It's a solution. And last one, egg sandwich. Yes, it's not a solution. Try this experiment at home. Or at least think about what would happen if you try this experiment. Take some sand and stir it in a glass of water. What happens? Yes, sand will just settle at the bottom. Sand is an insoluble substance. Try taking some salt or sugar and stir it in a glass of water. What happens this time? Well, salt or sugar disappeared. Salt and sugar are soluble substances. Some solutes readily dissolve in water but do not dissolve in other solvents. Substances or solutes that do not dissolve easily in solvents are described as insoluble substances. Corn, rice grains, and pebbles are example of insoluble substances. Substances such as sugar and salt dissolve easily in water. These substances are called soluble substances. Coffee powder, juice powder, and chocolate powder are examples of soluble substances. Today, you will learn about solubility. What is solubility? Solubility refers to the amount of solute that can be dissolved in a given amount of solvent at a particular temperature. There are factors that affect formation of a mixture or there are different factors that affect the solubility of solute in a solvent. These factors include stirring and shaking, temperature, size of solute particles, nature of solute and solvent, and pressure. Stirring affects the formation of a mixture. Stirring helps the particles become smaller until they disappear in solvent. Stirring is a method of dissolving substances by using mechanical force. It can be manually or using machines with a steering rod. Through steering, the particles are moving rapidly which speed up the contact between the surface of the solute and the solvent particles. Steering makes the granules of the solute mix quickly with the particles of the solvent causing the solute to dissolve faster. For example, Chocolate powder dissolves faster in water when stirred. Have you seen a mother shaking the bottled milk of her baby? Shaking is similar to stirring, but in this method, the container is closed and it is moved rapidly using mechanical force to mix and spread the solute until dissolved. Solubility of substances is also affected by temperature. Most solid solute increase solubility when there is an increase in the temperature of the solvent. And the best way to increase the temperature of the solvent is through heating.
heating causes the particles of liquids to move faster and farther apart. Solid particles dissolve more quickly in hot liquids than in cold liquids. When heated, the particles of liquid solvent move and come in contact with the solid particles faster, causing the solid solute to dissolve. For example, coffee dissolves faster in hot water than in cold water. The size of the solute also affects its solubility. The smaller the particles are, the faster they dissolve. Powdering or fulgurizing is done by making the particles of solid smaller to make them dissolve faster when mixed with the solvent. For example, the chicken powder dissolves more easily in the water compared with the chicken cubes. Refined sugar dissolves faster than sugar cubes. Fine table salt dissolves faster than rock salt. The nature of the solute and the solvent determines whether they will form a solution or not. There are substances whose nature and composition do not match such that they cannot form a solution with each other. For example, oil and water have very different nature, so they do not mix with each other. Sand also cannot form a solution with water. In the same way, salt does not dissolve in oil. Table salt, for example, Table salt dissolved in water but not in kerosene. Oil paint dissolved in thinner but not in water. Pressure also affects solubility of substances. The greater the pressure, the greater the solubility. It means that the solubility of gases in liquid increase as pressure increases and solubility decreases as pressure is decreased. When the soft drinks is closed and sealed, there is great pressure so that the carbon dioxide is dissolved in the liquid. But when the bottle of soft drinks is opened, the pressure of the gas in the bottle is reduced and the solubility of carbon dioxide decrease. That is why carbon dioxide in the form of bubbles comes out of the bottle instead of being dissolved completely in the solvent. You learn about factors that affect solubility of substances. These factors are stirring and shaking, size of solute particles, temperature, nature of the solute and solvent, and pressure. Let's find out if you learn from our discussion by analyzing this situation. Anna removed her nail polish. First, she tried to remove it using water, but it did not work. The nail polish was removed when she used acetone. What factor that affects solubility of substances was shown in the situation? Yes, you're right. Nature of the solute and the solvent. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.